Welcome to today's episode. Today we are going to learn all about the levels adjustment in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. You can create the levels adjustment by clicking this histogram like icon. Okay. If you'll click it, it will create a new layer and this is its property. Okay. Otherwise, you can come down over here and if you'll click this, it will open up a drop up menu. And from here, you can select levels and that would also create a levels adjustment over here. All right. And let's go to its settings. And first of all, let's see what options it has. First, it's has some presets which are inbuilt if you'll click this drop down menu you will see some options like if i click it it will make my image darker since it's darker increase contrast it is going to increase contrast more and two and three these are different one and lighten shadows as you can see the moment i have selected lighten shadows I can clearly visible clearly see this scene all right and then lighter okay mid-tone brighter now it's going to target the mid-tone and mid-tone darker and custom obviously you can create your own custom levels okay so if I'll go for default so this was the default and second is this option to target the RGB color which is red green or blue or you can target the selective or individual color that is red if you want to target the red channel you can select it and you can make adjustment to that okay and similarly green channel you can make adjustment to that and blue channel okay so let's go for RGB and this is a auto option what it is going to do it is going to adjust the image or adjust the this levels adjustment based on the pixels or information available to the photoshop and it will give us the result so let's press auto and you can see the moment i pressed it it has shown us everything and it has lightened these shadows and whatever the dark area was now i can see it clearly okay and if i want to reset it i can reset it by clicking this icon and this one shows the before and after okay this eye so this was before and this is after applying this and if i press this it is going to reset it or this one okay let me show you this is going to reset it let me press Control Z or Command Z to undo it. And this is the eye icon. If I turn it on and off, you can see the before and after also. And this one for deleting this. Okay. And come over here. Here we have three different eye picker tools. One is going to be this is the going to target the black point so if we select it we need to select the black point in our image and it is going to adjust the white balance accordingly so let's take this one i couldn't see the proper black or maybe over here and it is going to give us the white balance this is actually only for the white balance and this one for the gray point so let's select this gray point and you can see it has added a slightest of blue tint to this and this is going to be affecting white okay so if i'll select this you can see now it has given a different white balance all right so these are the different things so let me reset them once again and properly and we have here histogram and this area is the shadow so this slider is 
so this slider is going to affect the shadows this is going to affect the midtone and this is going to affect the highlights as you can see here we have less information on the highlight side okay and even midtone is empty so we don't have much information so we it is not visible all right so if we'll click and drag this slider it is going to make the shadows even darker and it is also moving this midtone along with it okay so let's drag it back and pick this midtone slider and drag it this side as you can see it has now made this shadows or this area lighter and now we can visibly clearly see it and this one for highlight so if we'll drag it this side you can see it is moving the midtone also along with it so if you want we can drag it back okay and we can make the our highlights lighter or darker with the help of this slider okay so let me bring it over here and i think this one is okay and here we have this option also so here we can target the darkness of this image so if we'll drag it towards the white it is going to make our black point whiter or lighter okay and this one for the highlights so lighter point would be becoming darker okay so these are different options and now let's see for the mask option this is a mask option and you can see at the moment we don't have any options or sliders to work on and this is grayed out this is because at the moment it has only white mask that means it is affecting the entire layer not the particular layer or particular selective area okay so if we create any mask over here so let's take the brush and choose the black color and if i paint it over here as you can see it is going to affect the rest of the area and not this one let me show you the mask by pressing alt or option and clicking this mask so it will show us the mask which it has created so wherever there is a black color it is not going to affect that and wherever there is a white color it is going to affect that all right so as you can see and if i invert this mask by pressing ctrl i or command i as you can see it is only affecting the center point as you can see by turning it on and off and rest of the area is as it is and this option is really great for doing selective sharpening or selective adjustment to any area all right so let's sh me show you one more thing if i go to its property here you have the option of clipping mask so clipping mask means it is going to affect only the layer underneath it okay so if i'll check it as you can see at the moment this arrow pointing towards the below or bottom as you can see so now it is going to affect only this layer and suppose if we have a duplicate any other image over it then it is not going to affect that or some other image which is underneath it that would also not be affected so let me bring one more image i think let's take this one to show you clearly and uh, you can see now if i make any adjustment it is not going to affect this layer okay so if i turn it off and now let me show you it is affecting only this layer not the above one okay and similarly isko agar hum niche le and similarly if i drop it down let me unlock it and drop it down now it is also again affecting only this layer not the below one so if i turn it off 
you can see it is affecting only this layer not the below one so clipping mask is also grateful if you want so clipping mask is also very useful if you want to selectively target certain area of the image so this is this was the levels adjustment tool so thank you so much and if you like today's episode please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and if you want to support the channel then you can purchase my pro tutorials and you can get that uh, with huge discount in the link in the description section below that would help me to create more free content for you in the future and i have a request for you if you want to accelerate your learning then you must practice whatever you are learning from here so apply whatever you have learned from this episode to your own images and try to share that your work or try to share your work in my private facebook group which is called lens of you and you can get the details of that in the description section below you'll find a link to that group you'll just click it and send me a request i'll approve it and this is a community which i am building for the photographers and retouchers okay if you want me to create an episode on any particular subject or topic in adobe photoshop then leave your request in the comment section below and i will see what can i do on that topic so thank you so much see you in the next episode